Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so um, at the end of the last one I said that this one was going to be rounding out a year, that's, that's the title that my calendar has told me that I've given the next one. Uh, still not entirely sure necessarily what I mean by that. Um, I guess maybe reflecting over this last year in particular, um, not necessarily talking about all the, the vlog stuff, because obviously I've done that quite recently with my celebrating um, 100 vlogs vlog <laughs> a few weeks ago. <laughs> um, but, you know, maybe just refer, like reflecting over, you know, how this last year has been for me in, in general. And yes, I know, again, I, I have talked a lot about some of this stuff recently, especially um, for, for various different reasons and, and in various different ways. But, you know, I think maybe, you know, with, with the year almost over, it might be nice to sort of correlate and, and collect in reflect on some of the things that I've been through and some of the things that have, you know, shaped the way this, this channel has, has gone this year because, um, as I'm sure some of you have noticed, uh, the Isla Reads has sort of stopped um, and there, there, was, there was one and then it, it continued to sort of be on, on hiatus and even though I sort of said that it would eventually be back and the plan is it will, it will eventually come back, um, maybe in a slightly different format but it will eventually come back. Um, but you know, in in general, this this last year has not been necessarily the best um, in terms of my health, and that has impacted on on the channel and has impacted on the various bits and pieces that I've been able to do to sort of promote myself. Because my main concern this year has been my health, and it's not you know, it's not a great situation to be in it's not a great you know not doesn't make life easy by by any stretch of the imaginations but you know having something that I can focus on having something that I can I can do which you know has been this vlog and has been this channel is you know it's helped <laughs> it has helped a lot but at the same time it doesn't take away the fact that you know I have spent a lot of this year in an unreasonable amount of pain and just struggling, absolutely struggling. And, you know, it's one of those things I don't really want to sort of complain because I'm I'm a I'm a fighter and I have gotten through it and I have survived <laughs> and and whatever. And the, the year as a whole has not been all bad and, and, and all terrible or whatever else and you know I have done a lot of things which have been really positive I mean I published my second you know I published another book this year and yes it wasn't you know necessarily when I had originally planned to to publish it which would have been in, in March but actually having that little bit of a delay on it meant that what I did publish was so much better so much better than it probably would have been otherwise and you know it, it's allowed me to, to go on to write the, the project that I'm currently writing and yes I know I do keep <laughs> I don't know how many times I can keep telling this little bit of story you know before it gets completely redundant but you know it's there there has been a lot of positive things that, that have happened this year I mean I got my my baby my baby gerbil girls um, who are now one by the way, I, I don't know when their official birthday is, but after I got them, I counted back about three months and decided that their birthday would be the 6th of December. So they're now little one year old gerbils, so they're not quite babies anymore. <laughs> um, and again, that, that's another, you know, incredibly positive thing that, that has happened this year. And, you know, I, I do I do love my little gerbil girls and they are a great company. I mean, I do live on my own, so... You know, I, I do get patches where I feel, I mean, I'm an introvert, but I do get patches where I feel, you know, lonely and a little bit isolated. So having my adorable little gerbil girls to come home to, that does make me, you know, feel extremely happy. And, you know, it, it gives me something to focus on again, like, like this channel, but 
slightly better because they, they are adorable, especially when they like run up of the cage and then they come into my hand and then I get to pet them. They're just, you know, <laughs> definitely a highlight of my life at the moment. But yeah, again, it, it's that case of, you know, I, I can't say that this has been 100% a terrible year. It's not been 100% the worst year that I've ever been through necessarily. I mean, it's probably, you know, piled together with a few other years um, for not necessarily being one of the greatest of, of all time, but it's certainly not, you know, on its own necessarily the worst, worst in terms of my health, mm -hmm. definitely. Um, and I've never been times where I've been really low with this and I, Literally, some of the vlogs when when I, when I was editing them and and when I was you know getting them ready for upload, I was just like, oh my god, I look so unwell in this. Um, I can't believe how unwell I look in in this. And I know I'm still not necessarily looking one hundred percent or ever one hundred percent necessarily is for me, but you know it's it's been a tough year and it's been a very tough year, but it's almost over. <laughs> So got to look at, at some of the positives um, and some of the vlogs that I've done this year have been really good and really exciting and I did my first unboxing which I don't have a great thumbnail picture for, <laughs> I know that I don't, <laughs> I should have thought a little bit more about that before I actually um, did, did the filming of the video, um, but you know, I, I, I enjoy doing that and I'm hopefully going to do another one of those next year when I uh, release my next book, which, fingers crossed, I will release my next book. Um, and, you know, yes, the, I've started re-going over some of the topics that I um, covered when, when I first started the vlog, but I'm not covering them in the same way, I'm not, you know, saying the exact same things about them, I'm sort of producing hopefully new thoughts about them and I'm doing them in my current format rather than my old format and I'm doing them with a camera that actually has a decent sound quality to it even if you know the picture quality is still not fantastic because I can't afford equipment <laughs> um but yeah it, it's it's been a year it's definitely been a year um and like like I said, it's not been it's not been all negative, but there have been huge patches of absolute horrible negativeness in it. Um, I mean, one of the things you know, I'm sure you guys have noticed is just you know my hair changed at the beginning of this year. Um, for anybody who's who's wondering, I coloured it at the beginning of the year. This 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 colour that you can still see, in it, and I know the like the quality of my camera isn't great, so you guys don't necessarily get like the fullness of the colour in it, but I've not recoloured it all year. This this is still the colour that got put in it at the beginning of the year, and it's it's not. It's starting to look, you know, now maybe not as bright as it was at the beginning of the year, but you can see it's it's not like faded or anything. So like the best thing I did, <laughs> well, but best, best way I invested my money this year was 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 in my hair colour. Um, so. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the, the, the two greatest things that I want, three, there are three big purchases that I did this year that um, definitely, you know, been totally worth it. Um, the first was my hair, because <laughs> that was the earliest. Um, the second was my Devil Girls, because, you know, they, they do bring me a lot of joy and a lot of happiness. Um, and then the third was I actually bought myself a bathtub, a portable bathtub. Um, it's one of those like barrel shaped ones, so you, you like you know you fill it up and it's deep and you sit in the water and it's deep rather than like long ways. Which for somebody who doesn't feel particularly comfortable lying in a bath um, because of all the pains and where I tend to get them, it find my lying in a bath just hurts my neck. Um, so yeah, the, the bathtub that I bought for myself is, is a fantastic purchase and I couldn't really use it during the summer, which is when I, I was in like a lot of pain as well. So it, because I don't, I don't have a bathtub, so I wasn't able to like use that as an alternative. It's literally my shower cubicle, I stick this thing in my shower cubicle and I fill it up. <laughs> there are pictures of it, <laughs> there are pictures of it full. Um, um, on my Facebook, my personal Facebook, rather than my my other one, I think 
maybe I've tweeted pictures of it as well um, when it's been filmed. But yeah, sticking that in my, my shower cubicle, filling that up and, and having it, it's been great, especially, you know, once the weather cooled down again and I was able to use it again. Um, it, it's definitely, you know, a big asset and a big help for helping me keep on top of certainly a lot of my joint pains, if, if nothing else. And, you know, yeah, so of, of my three, like, the, the three big purchases I did sort of, like, towards the beginning of the year rather than the, the one big purchase I made towards the end. Because it came back on sale and I'm a crazy fan girl. Um, no, I'm, I'm not wearing this because this is the new, like, fan operation one. The Bill fan operation one is still there. Um, although I am planning at some point next year to probably replace my fan fluation, <laughs> my fan fluation hoodie because the, the my my adorable little gel girls might have been mostly eating it, <laughs> so, so it might need replacing. But I'm I will get one like that for doing my fan fluation rather than than using this. This is this I've got one now because it happens to be cold, which means that. Um, I'm actually in a little bit of pain because of the cold at the moment. So I'm just trying to keep warm. Um, so if, if I'm wearing this for this one, and I'll be wearing this in the next one as well, I don't plan to change how I set up. Uh, so I'm filming both of them today because it's the middle of December and, you know, it's, it's in the lead up to Christmas and I work in a customer service job. Uh, I actually work in a fast food restaurant to be specific. So I'm going to be pretty busy over the next couple of weeks and I, I already know what, what my shift patterns are going to be like so this is like pretty much the only time I've got to film really this side of Christmas and obviously I've got you know this week this one needed to be done and need to do next week's as well so that's um although I do tend to when I play when I film I do tend to stack them anyway so like it's not unusual for me to be filming two in the same day, um, but I do usually change my outfit and my setup in this time just now. No, next video, this is just going to be probably just going to be done up. That's that's the only difference that's probably going to be made because I, it's too cold. My flat is too cold for me to go and get changed. <laughs> and I don't have proper heating. I have electric heating and that is expensive. <laughs> So my kitchen is nice and warm because I did put the heating on after I after I got in just now just to take the chill off a little bit because the cold is the really affecting me at the moment. But yeah, no. In in terms of yeah, I'm just gonna stick with the, this setup, which is a little unusual for me. Although maybe I, instead of throwing this, I'll just go wear one of my other warm things. I have lots of warm things here, but you know, I'm probably just gonna be lazy and just keep the exact same set up just, just because, just, just because. <laughs> I don't know, that's kind of like random. In, I think it's partly because I'm not totally sure what I'm doing with this particular vlog. <laughs> rounding up my hair, I'm, I'm rounding up my hair in the most crazy way possible i guess is, is what you could say that i am doing um and i'm wearing my most recent expensive pur purchase um and it did end up costing me a lot more than i would have liked but after the year that i had i was like i need to do something to, to, to treat myself and this is what i chose to treat myself with because you know i i i'm not gonna say that i felt like i deserved it um I think that's a bit like cliched or whatever, but you know, after after everything I I've, I've been through in terms of my health and, and everything else, I just felt like I needed something for me that was frivolous and that I didn't care too much, and I you know I had a little bit of money to spare, so why not treat myself to something that I'm going to get lots of joy out of? And I'm pretty much wearing this all the time at the moment, so I'm currently getting a lot of joy out of it. So. It's probably probably my fourth <laughs> fourth most important purchase I made this year. <laughs> but it's been like so close to the end of the year that I got it that you know I'm, I'm not counting it with the other three things. It's it's a separate thing. It's a separate thing. Um, but yeah, that's I think that's just kind of the year that I've I've sort of had. I've had like you know these definite highlights and these definite things that I've done or that I've been able to accomplish um, 
that have been yeah, really good and, and really fantastic. And on the other side of that, my health has been absolutely tragic. And I've had a lot of times where I've been really miserable with the pain that I've been in and I've looked really unwell with it and you know to, to support my you know my manager at work do you know a lot of them now do take <laughs> to make sure that I'm okay <laughs> do take the time to make sure that I'm actually okay um because you know they they they've seen what I've been through this year so yeah it's it's been one of those it's very much been one of those um where there's been a lot of really good and really wonderful stuff and there's been a lot of really really horrible and really miserable stuff but mm. you know a lot of people can say that um and it, i don't think anybody ever has like a perfect year and it just so happens that this year the thing that you know i'm i'm going to remember the most about it despite all the really wonderful and really good things that i've done and that i've achieved and that have happened is that this year I was miserable with pain a lot of the year and that might be sorting itself out now, it might not be sorting itself out now because I'm you know at a point where I you know I grasp at any straw that is thrown to me for the you know the slight possibility that you know life isn't going to continue like this but you know fingers crossed thing my health my health things will be slightly more under control, if nothing else, during 2019. Because I do not want another year where I experience pain like I've experienced this year. I, I don't. But I have no control over that. No, you know, if, if things, you know, are what they are and everything that I, I have is, you know, functional illness, um, then the likelihood is is that things will just be however they are going to be but you know if it turns out that this thing that has caused me so much pain over the last year actually might potentially have something that I can do about it then no 20, 2019 I should have a lot more control again and that would be great because I I feel like yeah <laughs> I feel like I don't want another year like this year. I not not for my pain. Um, it, it was a lot. It was a lot, and I'm sort of glad that things seem to be settling again now. But I'm constantly terrified that it's all smoke and mirrors, and things are going to go back to being as bad as they were. And yeah, it's. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so I think that was me rounding out my year. And yes, I know that it's been a bit babbly and ramble rambly and not really very focused. Although I've talked a lot about my health and the bad stuff, and I already mentioned the, the book once. <laughs> By the way, I published a book this year. Don't know if you guys realise this. I published a book this year that I enjoyed editing so much that I'm currently writing a companion book for. And I am also maybe, yeah, we'll, we'll focus on that next bit <laughs> on the next book. <laughs> so I guess you guys can now consider to be part two of, of this, this one. So this one was trying to close out trying to close out 2018 um, and, and round up 2018 and, and, and talk about my general feelings for 2018, which I guess comes down to a lot of, oh my God, my health is really bad this year, but I made for, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm counting the jacket. <laughs> I made four really great purchases this year. <laughs> made life so much better. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that's been that's been my 2018. So in the next one, I'm going to be talking about things to be looking forward for in 2019, and some of that is definitely going to be channel focused, and some of that from the other stuff. Um, so just continue it, just continue it. I can word, just consider it. <laughs> <laughs> to be a continuation of of this one. So this one was sort of rounding up 2018 with sort of mentioning some things that I'm hoping for in the future. Then the next one is going to be me 
talking about some of the things that I'm hoping to accomplish next year whilst also reflecting on 2018. Yeah, that, that's how you end the year. <laughs> All right. Hope you guys have found this some sort of interesting. I hope you're looking forward to the next one. And I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya.